Okay, if you get a solve for x, the problem is we get two logarithms. Uh, that's pretty messy. So use your properties of logarithms, that if you have a log of an a added to a log of a, of a b, then you can make that one logarithm by saying it's log a times b. So over here, this is like my a. This is like my b. You can rewrite it as a new logarithm, log base 3 of x minus 2 times x plus 2, my a times my b. And it all equals 9 still. So there, now we have just one logarithm. Uh, and if you're trying to solve an equation with a logarithm, you might want to consider the exponential form, b to the y equals x, where b is the base, the y is the number that it all equals to, and the x is everything you're taking a logarithm of. So that x minus 2, x plus 2 is my x in this case. So I plug in those numbers where they're supposed to go. I get 3 to the 9 equals x minus 2. Then we got x plus 2. Okay, so we can solve that. Uh, let's expand the right side and see if that helps. x minus 2, x plus 2, that multiplies to make x squared minus 4. Uh, and so if we add 4 to both sides, then we, if we take the square root so we can get x squared by itself, x is going to be uh, positive or, oops, x is going to be the positive or negative version of uh, 3 to the ninth plus 4. And then we took a square root after all that because we had to get x squared by itself. And I have positive or negative because if you, if, if 3 to the ninth plus 4, take, and then you take the square root, whatever that number is, is your answer, then the negative number is also going to be true because if you plug it in here, it's getting squared, which makes it be positive. So plug that through your calculator, then use the negative. Those are your two answers that make that logarithm be true. Actually, hold on one second. Negative answer doesn't make sense in this case. Uh, it, it does make sense algebraically how you solved, but if you try to plug it back in, uh, wait a second. No, nope, we're good, because if you plug it back in, you're not taking a log. I was concerned that we were going to take a log of a negative number, but if you plug it back in, it's going to be a negative times a negative that will give you a positive. So you're good. These are our two answers.